Back in 1911, Dr. Sun Yat-sen brought up this radical new idea, a Republic of Citizens, or Mingguo. The Republic of Citizens means that not only the citizens can participate in democracy through representative voting power, but they can also participate directly through referenda, through recourse, and through the citizens' assembly. This constitutional spirit of a republic belonging directly to the citizens and not only to the representatives gained a new life in Taiwan and through the cyberspace. The digital culture is based on the idea of multi-stakeholderism. This word means that anyone who is affected by any policy has the right to say that they want to participate in that policy. And the binding power is not through coercive power, but through a deliberation between people of different positions, different ideologies, but then with a shared value. Through the internet, we have successfully enacted Dr. Sun Yat-sen's idea of direct democracy through e-collecting for referenda, through e-petition, through sandbox applications, and through the presidential hackathon. I would say that previously, the internet enabled only people who text or message or send pictures or now videos with each other. But now, with the latest in immersive reality, as well as 5G networks, we can bring the democracy everywhere. I personally tour around Taiwan to the indigenous nations, to the rural places, to the offshore islands. Everywhere I bring with myself the idea of the broadband as a human right. So we can deliberate based on the local citizens' initiatives and agenda-setting power and bring forth all the municipalities and all the ministerial organs into a single virtual connected space. And this is a republic of citizens where people is not satisfied only by providing two or three bits every four years, but rather they can participate day to day in a national participation platform, join the GOV, the TW, that has now more than 10 million visitors out of 23 million people in the Republic of Citizens.